right, what's up? I am in H-Town, holding it down. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your 808s and your kicks hit harder today. Follow me on Instagram and DM me if you want a free drum kit or if you want two free beats. I will send those to you as well. My Instagram will be somewhere on the screen, also in the description. All right, but let's get into it. Um, if you've been using FL Studio for a while, you can probably skip the first couple uh, tips here because you probably already know how to do them. Otherwise, stick around. All right, so very first thing is, usually when you open up FL Studio, you're gonna have this uh, fruity limiter right here on your master channel. You don't want that. You do not want that. Replace that with a fruity soft clipper. That's all you have to do. You don't have to change any of the settings on that. Just pop that bad boy right on there. I'm not even gonna explain why. All right, so I just got this melody I created right here for the video, just so I'm not playing you 808s and stuff by themselves. I'll just let you hear the second half of it. All right, so you know, a little West Coast vibes, a little Bay Area. All right, so if you want your 808s and your kicks to hit hard, very first thing you want to do um, is start out with a good sample. So I'm gonna show you an example of what a good sample is versus a bad sample. So here's a good kick right here. Pay attention to this uh, mixer channel number two here. See that kick is already loud on its own versus if you start with a kick that's bad, this one, terrible. So always start out with a good one. Um, but if you don't have a good one, I'll show you how to make the bad one sound good. All right, so there's three really basic things you can do to make your kicks louder, so I'll show you with this bad one here. First thing, you can obviously turn it up on the channel rack here. That'll make it a little bit louder, won't always do the trick. You can also turn it up here in the mixer, so that should make it a little louder as well. And then, of course, if you go into the actual piano roll here, you can mess with the velocity. Turn the velocity all the way up or to whatever, however loud you want it. See, now that kick is nice and loud. Just for comparison, it used to sound like that. So we made it a lot louder there already just with those three basic, basic things that anybody can do. Another thing that a lot of people don't use and a lot of people don't know about because it's hidden is the boost knob. So if you go in here and I open up this bad kick again, go right here to where it says pre-computed effects then you click on this little, I don't even know what that is. It looks like a candle or something. I don't know. You find this boost knob. You can turn this up a lot. See, and now that makes your kick a lot louder. Next tip is gonna make your kick mix better with your 808, which will also make your kick hit harder, but it'll also make it kind of mix better with the 808. I've got this melody on here too, just so it's a little bit more interesting. I've got the good kick here. I'm gonna layer it with this 808, just have a basic spins 808 here pattern kind of following my melody. Sometimes the kick and the 808 clash a little bit. So now if I turn this reverse polarity on, it'll actually change the sound of the kick a little bit and make it mix differently with the 808. So in this case, when I turn the reverse polarity on, to me, it actually sounds a little bit worse. Uh, but there are some kick and 808 combinations where uh, when you change this reverse polarity, it might make it sound better. In this case, it sounds worse. Let's go back to the normal one. So that sounds a lot cleaner and better to me. This is something I'll mess with a lot when I'm uh, mixing my beats and making, trying to make my kick stand out, is I'll play with that, see which, which way sounds better. All right, so another thing you can do, Another thing you want to do, this will just make your kick and your 808 sound better in your overall mix. Turn your kick and your 808 to mono. The way you do that is you got this little knob right here, turn it all the way to the right. Same thing with the 808. It's very, very subtle, but in the context of your entire mix, it'll definitely sound better. All right, next thing, just really basic EQ. I've got my bad kick here turned on with my 808. I'm going to open on my kick. I'm going to open this 
stock plugin right here. So everyone should have this, the Fruity Parametric EQ2. Really, really basic here. So you're kicking your 808. Open one for the 808 here too, just so you can kind of see them side by side. So what you guys are gonna see is that these frequencies occupy a lot of the same exact range, which means that they're kind of fighting for space in your speakers. Now, since it's only two sounds, usually this isn't an issue, but if you do find that your 808 and your kick are clashing a little bit, what you can do is some subtle EQing. So I'm gonna do, I don't know why I just closed that. On my kick here, I'm just gonna cut out some of the lower frequencies. I'm gonna turn this knob up here all the way down so I get a steeper shelf. I'm just gonna cut out some of the bass, the lowest. What I usually do is somewhere between 25 and 30. Make the kick sound a little bit less full, but that's okay because if it's playing at the same time as your 808, uh, you're going to have that fullness anyway from the 808. So I just took out some of the lower frequencies from the kick, so it's not going to clash. Um, open up the 808 one here. It's not going to cl clash with these lower 808 frequencies. So it's going to sound a little bit better together. Definitely going to make your bass uh, stick out more and not clash. All right, another thing you can do. Got my bad kick here again is you can boost some of these mid frequencies to make your kick louder or just make it sound different so a lot of people say you know boost it at a certain point i disagree with that because every kick is a little bit different frequencies are a little different so i like to just play around with it and see what sounds best so see to me that made it a little louder um, and it didn't really change the sound of it too much. It didn't make it sound worse or distorted or anything like that. So that's probably a pretty good place to do it. Let's see what happens if we go lower. See, to me, this sounds a little bit... Uh, it sounds cool, but a little too aggressive, a little bit too full. I think here sounded a little better, a little cleaner. It sounds like it fit with that 808 a little bit. Another thing you can do is you can side chain your kick uh, with your 808. This will make it so that when the kick hits, the 808's volume uh, actually reduces a little bit, makes it so they don't clash, and makes your kick sound extra loud. Um, side chaining is something that producers do in like EDM music a lot. But in trap, you want to make it very, very subtle. And by trap, I mean the hip hop type of trap, not the. Uh, EDME trap that came many years later, by the way. All right, so to side chain, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the mixer that your 808 is on. So for me, I have it on three. You're gonna open up a fruity limiter here, and I'm showing you guys plugins that come stock with FL Studio, so you don't have to go buy uh, anything or download anything. These things are all already in FL Studio for you. So you wanna open up a fruity limiter on your 808 channel. Go to your kick channel. So for me, I have it on two. You're gonna go down to this arrow on your 808 channel while you have your kick channel selected. You're gonna click this so they're linked here. Go back to your limiter, which is on your 808. You're gonna go to comp here. And what that stands for is compression. So it's gonna compress the 808. Right here where it says side chain, right click that. I'm gonna click insert two. And whatever insert you have your kick on, it's gonna pop up there. So for me, I have it on two. So now it's side chained to my kick. Now what I'm gonna do in here, is I'm gonna turn the threshold down, uh, put the ratio around here. This is usually where I start threshold kind of pointed to the left there, ratio to the right. And let's see how it sounds. So if you watch here, I've got my 808 channel selected. You're gonna see the 808 when the kick hits actually go down a little bit. See that, how it's going down when the kick hits? So what's happening is when the kick is hitting, it, the 808's getting compressed so that the kick and the 808 aren't fighting for space in your speakers. Now let's see what happens if I turn the threshold down even more. See, it gets turned down a lot more. Now that sounds unnatural to me, right? That sounds very EDM-y. <laughs> so I don't want it that low. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. See, to me, that sounds good. Um, it doesn't sound like the 808's getting compressed. But what it's doing is it's allowing the kick room to hit. So that's a 
another tip right there. All right, another thing you can do um, is actually change this here. This is called an envelope. I'm in my 808 options here, so I opened up my 808 and I went to the second thing here. You can change this to make it so that your kick shines through more. So if we just listen to the 808 by itself, at the very beginning of that sound, it, you can kind of hear the 808 hit, right? Like it almost sounds to me, the way I would describe it, is like there's a mini kick inside of it. Now that little hit at the beginning, that can clash with your kick and kind of fight for space in your speakers with the kick and make your kick not sound so loud. So another tip you can do, or another option you have, is to actually kind of delay your 808, or it's called change of the envelope, so that hit in the beginning doesn't happen. So in here, you can go to delay, turn this up a little bit. So see how it, it skips that hit in the beginning. So now if I turn my kick on, now that sounds unnatural, so what you want to do is maybe mess with the attack a little bit. Nope. There we go. Uh, oops. Turn this back out again. Okay, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lengthen these. you can do and this works pretty well with your 808s is to use fruity fast distortion so I'm here in my 808 mixer channel here I'm gonna open up fruity fast dist right here it stands for distortion now when you first open it up it's gonna sound a little bit too aggressive so you don't want to do that what I like to do is I go into the presets here and I go into this is something I turn this mix knob down these different knobs choose different presets this will add a little bit of distortion to your 808 um, and not only will it make your 808 hit harder it'll make it show up better through phone speakers and speakers that don't have that much uh, you know bass frequencies um, it'll make it so you can hear those a little better all right another thing you can do with your kicks to make them hit harder is open up Fruity Blood Overdrive. Here we go. And what you're gonna do is turn up this uh, preamp. So that'll make it hit harder. It'll also make it distorted if you go too high, so be careful. But it also gives a kind of a different texture and color to the kick. To me, it makes it sound a little bit lighter and like there's not as much bass in it. So something you can do to combat that is you can take all your kicks and you can turn them down a note, help them sound fuller. But it definitely, definitely gives a distorted feel to your kick. All right, another thing you can do is, this doesn't actually make your 808 or your kick hit harder, it just makes it seem like it does, is grab an open hat, put it right in the beginning, make it short so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, out knob actually no that's one one way you can do is take this out knob and turn it down kind of similar to the fruity fast distortion method um, this will make it so you can actually hear it better on phone speakers or laptop speakers or speakers that don't have uh, a lot of bass another thing you can do is instead of turning that out knob down certain length so I'm gonna make it like this length and go into the envelope again drag your attack all the way down hold all the way up turn everything else down that's gonna make it so the open hat only plays for as long as you make this note so see if I have it that um, short it's only gonna play that amount of time if I have it longer it'll play out the whole note the whole sample right so I don't because then it sounds like it's really not part of the 808 or the kick. Make it short. See, that sounds pretty sick to me. All right, guys, that's all for today. Um, I hope that was helpful. Hope that helped you make your kicks and 808s hit harder. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see a tutorial on anything else um, or if I can you know, give you guys tips and tricks on anything. 
I think I'm going to do some more videos like this, definitely more tutorials, um, so maybe some blogs, kind of show you guys a day in the life. Uh, maybe show you guys some studio sessions with rappers. Again, follow me on Instagram, DM me if you want a free drum kit um, or if you just want two free beats, depending on what you want. Leave me a like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you want to see some more. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. And then follow my editor on Instagram as well. Peace.